Welcome to part 14 of the Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics series. In this episode, I'll walk you through how to use the loft command inside of Autodesk Inventor. Our lofted part is going to consist of three sketches on different planes. The first sketch will be a 2x1 rectangle on the XY plane. After finishing the sketch, head over to the model tree and turn on visibility of the XY plane. Select the plane by left clicking and drag it in the positive Z direction and define it to be half an inch away from the original plane. Create a new sketch on the newly created plane, this time drawing a circle around the bottom left corner of the rectangle. Repeat the creation of the new plane process again, this time defining it to be one inch away from the original XY plane. On the third plane, I'll draw a smaller rectangle on the right side of the work area. With three sketches created, it's now time to take a look at the loft command. Choose loft from the create area in the ribbon. To define the sections of your loft, select the three sketches in the order that you created them. Sticking with the rails option, you can choose to have your loft be a surface or a solid. We're going to stick with the defaults, and clicking OK will result in your lofted 3D solid. Join me again next time for part 15 of the Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics series, where I'll look at sweep and rectangular pattern commands.